Hi guys, welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel, which is the build 23403. As I've said, the latest build for the dev channel. Microsoft also released a Canary build today, and we're going to cover that a bit later. But in this video, we're going to talk about what is new in this latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel. First of all, what you need to note is that Windows Insiders who were previously in the dev channel on the 25,000 series builds are now being moved to the new Canary channel. If you are on the build 25309 and haven't been moved to the Canary channel yet, you will not receive this build as it has a lower build number than the build you are already on. First of all, in the build 23403, Microsoft is introducing live captions in more languages and more info about that will be in the article below in the video's description for those of you interested about that. Also related to the file explorer, Microsoft is continuing to improve the file explorer and then they are now adding access keys in the file explorer. An access key is a one keystroke shortcut that allows a keyboard user to quickly execute a command in the context menu. And you'll have a screenshot on the screen, of course, each access key will correspond with a letter and the display name as a part of Microsoft's effort to make File Explorer more accessible. And to try this out, you can click on a file in File Explorer and press the menu key on your keyboard. This is slowly rolling out, so not every Windows Insider in the dev channel will have this, but of course, if I find a way to manually enable this, I'll come up with a different video soon. Another a huge thing in this build is that Microsoft is adding file recommendations in File Explorer. So they are improving the File Explorer even more. File recommendations are coming to File Explorer home to bring users the most relevant file content. This feature will be available to users signed into Microsoft with an Azure Active Directory account. So not everyone will have this. Files that are recommended will be cloud files associated with that account either owned by the user or shared with the user. And again, this is slowly rolling out so not every Windows Insider will have this. We also have the voice access improvements such as redesigned in-app command help page, voice access now being available in English dialects, and also new text selection and editing commands. More info about these in the article below in the video's description. Microsoft is also introducing updates for the new touch keyboard setting that replaces the show the touch keyboard when there's no keyboard attached checkbox under settings, time and language, typing, and touch keyboard, with a new drop-down menu with three options to control whether tapping and edit control should launch the touch keyboard. Never, when no keyboard attached, and always. Microsoft is also introducing a narrator outlook support, more info about that in the article below, and also a multi-app kiosk mode, which is a lockdown feature for Windows 11 that allows an IT administrator to select a set of allowable apps to run on the device while all other functionalities are blocked. More info about this, again, in the article below in the video's description. Users will also now see a copy button for quickly copying two-factor authentication codes in notification toasts from apps installed on the PC or from phones links to the PC. Again, this is slowly rolling out, so not every Windows Insider will see this. Microsoft is also adding a glanceable VPN status into the system tray. When connected to a recognized VPN profile, the VPN icon, a small shield, will be overlaid and over the active network connection. Currently, the overlaid VPN icon does not use your system accent color, but will do so in a future build. Also related to the search on the taskbar, the search box on taskbar will be lighter when Windows is set to a custom color mode, especially when the Windows 11 mode is set to dark and the app mode is set to light under settings, personalization, colors, you'll see a lighter search box on the taskbar. Microsoft also has some input changes that you can see more about in the article below. And also related to settings, right-clicking on a Win32 app in Start or searching for the app and choosing Uninstall will now take you to the Settings app to uninstall the app. These are pretty much the new features that we can encounter in this build. Now let's talk about a few fixes related to the search on the taskbar. Microsoft fixed render issues when using the touch keyboard with the search box on the taskbar. They fix an issue where when double clicking the search highlight cliff in the search box makes it disappear. Fix an issue where the search box would randomly disappear. Fix an issue where the search icon flips incorrectly for right to left languages. Also fix an issue where you might have seen some text flicker in the search box when you click into it. Fix an issue where the search box might disappear on one monitor if you are using multiple monitors. And also made some accessibility fixes to the settings or search under settings personalization and taskbar. Related to File Explorer, Microsoft fixed an underlying issue believed to be the cause of File Explorer unexpectedly jumping into the foreground sometimes. And basically, this is all there is to it in this build. This is a rebooted dev channel in the Windows Insider program. I had some issues installing this build, that's why the video also came out a bit later. But I think this is quite an exciting build, so if you want to learn more about it, you can check out the article below in the video's description for more info related to known issues in this build also. I was Emmanuel from TechBase, until next time.
time have a nice day